Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're going to be talking about something that I'm very, very passionate about. It's how can you implement financial intelligence in your finance team. Financial intelligence is not just financial management, it's not just accounting, but it's a system that will allow you to be able to get those results that says this is where your cost base might be going. How do you apply that into your own team? How does it link to the reliance on, on analysts? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. My name is Disama Matsiyeti. Thanks a lot for those who are sending me messages, those that are uh, subscribing and those that are just, you know, giving me thumbs up. You know, it helps me, gives me that oomph and I'm also looking at the subscribers. It keeps on growing and I'm very, very thankful for that. This video is going to be designed for the managers or the people who are execs of finance departments. I'm going to be sharing what I wrote to my exec about a year ago on documenting what I was doing as a financial analyst on how to run a department as a senior manager how to run a department and create financial intelligence but before we start here talk about financial intelligence what is financial intelligence? So financial intelligence for a lack of a better word besides financial intelligence is an environment where you would be able to analyze and dissect your cost and your analysis your expenses better better than the normal way of how we do you know our, our income statement and stuff like that our our budgeting we know uh, we normally get all the details and then after you get all that detail then you start with the budgeting process the three-year plan budgeting cycle and it takes you so long and then before you know it there's questions that comes back to say why are we growing what's that and then you start this whole analysis so it starts the whole process starts with financial officers going out to get all the costs uh, with the business partners and before you know it you move from financial officers and business partners it goes into a stage where the whole finances have gone out of the hands of financial officers they are now sitting in the analysis space where this is where you need people like myself who are financial analysts to now take that cost and help you answer the question as a CFO or a head of head of finance department. I'm calling that financial intelligence, your ability to link out what the financial officers is doing with you sending your reporting to Exco, Divco, or whatever, Menco, whatever level that you are reporting on. That linking, that seamless analy uh, analyzing of what is this cost base, who are we paying, what are the vendors that we're paying for, what are the, what, what were we paying five years ago? They seem like a simple questions, but you know, if you're running a finance department when you send those questions back to the financial officers it might take days if not weeks for a simple question to be answered that is called financial intelligence and 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 on top of that we are using you know uh, some of the data scientists tricks that are available in tools like power bi but the other people are using Tableau. You're using some of the forecasting tools that can tell you you can actually forecast your expense line to go this way. We are not we are not using that as yet because I know if you're running a finance department, your financial officers are the ones that are actually doing that work for you. Before we start, I'm just gonna start with putting you this big, big, big visual. In this visual, I'm just showing you just high level what do you normally have as a financial officer. So this is what we had, you know, in our finance team. To start off, you would have what I call a financial business analyst clients. So I'm not talking in here about just the individual itself. Financial business analyst is the team that I'm talking about. <laughs> so the financial business analyst team would include the BI analyst, maybe from the center of excellence. You would include cross-functional teams would you include yourself as a finance executive or your finance menko it would include financial officers or, or financial managers and those financial officers or financial managers can you realize that link that goes into business executive because they sit with business executive so that business executive can tell them what they want that's why you're seeing them going down with different uh, frustrations and different point of views you know they're shouting there uh, help me with uh, I, I need to be efficient uh, I need this I need that those those are just their thoughts in there in the middle of there we're seeing a financial business analyst and the financial business analyst is saying I create magic from complexities just the top part just the top part is just showing you how complex this whole process is okay let's just look at the bottom part so the bottom part what we were doing as a financial business 
uh, analyst we had different dependencies remember here we're talking about financial numbers m numbers 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 data 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 first person is data where do you get the data from just looking at the bottom part which are the um the dependencies or the supply or whatever uh, suppliers or regulators you're looking at system supporting teams which would be the people that are relying on you creating the magic that you are creating you have computer systems that you might be working with on this case i was working with sql databases i was working with power bi i was working with excel and i was working with SAP. So those were my dependencies that I would put uh, that I had put down in this case. And then from there you would have your business intelligence community so that you guys can share what is the best, you know, the you know industry, you know, best practices. It's always best that you can take, you know, people from financial business analysts to go and sit with the other people so that they can share the know-how. Same with the finance community so that they can know how invoices are receipted how stuff like that happens so that when you go back into the data you know what's happening information security of course please this is quite important you have to sit with information security people and also you have to sit with uh, training and development so that they can help you you know upskill yourself That's high level high level this is just a rich picture of what we are looking at that's just complexity you you are sitting in the sandwich in the middle and then you have your suppliers and you have your you have your clients or what we call your your consumers so you're sitting in the middle you have to help these people with analysis but you need the stuff on this side for you to get there so how 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 can this be done efficiently great rich picture very much noise how can it be done efficiently so i'm not going to go into detail i've written you know a paper and a half on this i'm going to put the link for you to download the paper on the description below so just click on there read the paper if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it send me tell me where i can make changes and then i'll make the changes and in this solution we're just looking at the following look at the first part we are looking at different type of people who can do different type of things when you're talking about data, you just don't start seeing a graph. You start by seeing different areas. First one is what I call MIS, Management Information System. Those management information system tasks are the ones that are done by any other team. This is where you take data, you excel, and then you make it look pretty. You need three type of people in there. Number one, you need the database infrastructure and support person. This person will come in and say, okay, we have a server. It needs to, we need to make sure that there's enough space. We need to make sure that all the catches are cleared. We need to make sure that the people who are supposed to have access, they have got access. And for that, I said, you need a person who is strong or competent with computer hardware uh, knowledge. And you need a person from with a BTEC or some you know qualification. In this case, on this level, I would say even the person who's got you know Udemy certificate is okay. I can put that person in there. All they have to do is just look at the machine and take care of it. You they can work hand in hand with system analyst. What system dependency on the hardware, you know, stuff like that. Him and system analyst, best friend. This person does not necessarily have to sit inside the finance team. If you are a small company please call me and we can talk about how you can set up. But this person does not necessarily have to sit in your finance team, okay? Second person, this person definitely has to sit in the finance team. Is there a data administrator? What I'm saying has to sit inside the finance team is, remember some of the finance functions are really sensitive in nature, like salaries, who's getting fired, which team is, you know, <laughs> getting reduced. So you need, as, as you build up your team, you need a secrecy team, okay? Financial uh, data administrator, they can sit in whatever team, you don't care. Infrastructure and operation team, they can sit there. But when it comes to people that can see the inside of the tables, they better be sitting inside finance, okay? Data administrator, the person will be responsible for going into SAP, making sure that SAP is being pulled into the SQL server. If you're, if you're not using a, a direct uh, connection, making sure that your Excel files are in there, making sure that you import all that is needed. All data related, you put them in there. Um, it will be, you know, 
easier if you can have this person who's a data administrator become a data analyst but i don't recommend that especially if you're a big company because a data administration work could actually take away from the the value that you can get from a data analyst data administrator just pushes data in there next person is a data analyst data analyst will have to sit there and clean up the data what they do is uh, they sit there they make sure that the data that has been imported the duplicates are taken out it makes sense they write the sql procedures they maintain the advanced sql scripts that you know loop after loop you know sometimes when i print out my script they used to be like a couple of pages long you write you know when we started when you write a simple select from database it used to be like two lines but now when you end up writing like three or four pages of a sql script can just imagine it's a script inside a script inside a script inside. this person can actually do that I'm, I'm sorry i can't i can't go on writing sql script plus please don't call me with your data issues yeah i can tell you where to get this paper but not me please they also you know make sure that uh, what the data administrator um, imported equals to what's on other systems so they work hand in hand with the system administrator. What am I looking for? Somebody else who knows SQL or databases and they have, you know, accreditation of some sort, whether it's online or it's via university, doesn't really matter. As long as they can do the job. Now we're jumping over from MISO, what most finance teams used to do, if I just share, I spill the beans out. We would just stop at data ad, 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 analysis and we call that MIS. Because a guy would go take out things from uh, the database and then put it into, into a pivot table and then voila, there it's out and we call that MIS and then we make decisions based on that. It worked so long. I think when I did, I did my honors on decision support system, which stops at this level and I will share all of that with me like I'm sharing this one with you. Just watch out for the next video. I will be talking about that one on how do you make a good decision support system. Now we're jumping over over to this side, which is the value add. This is where advanced analysis take place. Who do you need in your corner? Now, let's talk about this. We started with system. We make sure that the hardware is on. We had the data administrator who made sure that the data is inside there. We had the data analyst who made sure that there's no duplicates and we can trust the data. These people that are coming, these are big bucks. 1.2 million, 1.5, 1.7 million. These are the people that I'm talking about in this site. Okay, the big bucks. Now, the big bucks. You don't want to waste their time with mundane tasks. Who are they? First one, business in, uh, intelligence support. They will be the one that helps with creating the reports from scratch. They're not going to look for data. If they say this, this is the data source, they use that data source and they say, this is what it's telling me. That's what those guys are doing. Okay, they uh, do what another thing called raw level security. This is where you work hand in hand with the uh, information security team, role level security, makes sure that if you said I'm going to give December access, December has access and not in Tabiseng has got December's access. You need advanced people to make sure that they understand that. You can't leave that job <laughs> to... Uh, administrators can, you know, help maintain the list, but these people will be there to make sure that the computer enforces the list. From there, I said, in terms of competencies, these people can connect to SQL database. They need to have advanced uh, Excel skills because it doesn't matter how, how we do, Excel runs the world. If I were to choose one training to offer on this level, it's Excel training. If I were to tell you about any other tricks, Excel, Excel, Excel. But, okay, we're talking about advanced analysis here. So. They need to be in Excel, Power BI probably, and probably based on my knowledge, honors degree helps. Uh, honors in well, informatics, data science, you name it, it helps on, on this call. And then you have the final person, which is the finance analyst. The finance analyst role will be to do what you are looking for, storytelling. The other guys, remember he builds Power BI, finance analyst sits there and says, I think take out um, that view divided by Mencos. Take out three Mencos because their project was last year. Let's put, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Thinksell. 
Um, it's a pity I can't show this, the, the thing cell details here, but I'll find something else. They, they somehow like create thing cell type of crafts for you to see. And that's what you want to take for storytelling into your uh, meetings to say, when you say we are growing by 1 billion, you need to be able to slice that 1 billion by different angles. And this financial analyst will help you get there. They're doing financial intelligence, which is that thing that I'm talking about that you just look at the stuff and you're like, no, with the human intelligence, I know that cannot be done. Let's, with the help of the BI analyst or the BI as, uh, a specialist, um, we can talk and teach the computer to think like financial executives that sits in a boardroom. It is important for you not to create or pick up a product from the shelves because the voices in the div course or the x course or the group x course are different people are not the same one executive will value um, one sense of reporting another will value another financial analysts are important to make sure that whatever they need whatever they are wants could be met and this is why I'm not selling Power BI, but this is where I was presenting using Power BI because if a, if a financial manager won or financial executive won, uh, whatever the case is, C-suite person won, wants to see certain reporting, we create that reporting for him. We call it page one. Page two, same one billion that we're growing with, we're splitting it by something else. And then all of them will be happy. They will see what they want to see. and. It doesn't matter the volumes or the report will go both into their the inboxes the same way that they, they, they want to see it. The person as you know it has to have good communication skills. So this is the person who's not just looking that I'm a winner, I've won, I've done 17 reports. It, it's all about making sure that the people are able to get, which is the execs in this case, or they have the business owner is able to get the value out of their financial numbers. So good communication skills is very, very important. End-to-end uh, -end knowledge of analysis journey, which is what I explained here, they need to know because when things go wrong inside the meeting, you just need to look at it and say, sorry, I think um, we are missing a batch of data from um, whoever, this financial officer. Uh, I think that other uh, whatever thing might be duplicated because we're supposed to be 2%, not 10% um, type of thing. So that person needs to know that. And it needs to have at least a financial management type of a thing that they sit there. My whole career, I wasted so many years in school. It was so that I can be able to sit on top of the balcony and create a team like this. And I was able to manage this for six years. And if you ask me how to implement it, I can, you know, give out you know consultation to say this is how you do it this is not how you do it if you want to i mean simple but if you could try to take a snapshot of this and see if you can implement it on your side and give me comments it's below does it work does it make sense did you able were you able to implement it blah 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 let me know please and i can be able to add value uh, furthermore into your life but this is a practical example that i've been doing for six years thank you guys Till next time.